Hey, what's up guys? Coach Chris here, uh, coming at you with another uh, open strategy workout. I said I have a better presentation for you guys next time and uh, try to deliver on that. So 21.2 is, uh, is a repeat of 17.1. So go back, uh, you can go back on the uh, CrossFit Games uh, website, go to the leaderboard, use the filters, go back to 2017. If you entered a score, you can search your name, you can see, uh, you can see what, your time, uh, what your time to beat is. Um, the workout is a couplet of dumbbell snatches and burpee box jump overs. And the rep scheme is gonna go like this. 10 dumbbell snatches, 15 burpee box jump overs. 20 snatches, 15 box jump overs. 30 snatches, 15 box jump overs. 40 snatches, 15 box jump overs. 50 snatches, 15 burpee box jump overs finishing up. And uh, the weights on the dumbbell, pretty standard weights that we always use in, um, in dumbbell snatch workouts. Uh, a little bit lighter, uh, actually. If you're if you normally do the competition track, we normally use a 70 pound dumbbell. We're going to be doing a 50. It's going to be the prescribed weight for the men. 35 is going to be the prescribed weight for the women. Box height is going to be 24 inches for the men and 20 inches for the women. Now, if you're doing a scale, it'll be a lighter dumbbell, 35 for the men, 20 for the women, and also it'll be a 20 inch box for uh, men and women and step ups will be allowed if you're doing the scaled version of this workout. You can still jump, but you do have the option to step up if you want to. Okay, so uh, let's talk about some, uh, some key points here. This is a different type of workout than uh, last week. Last week was a brand new, uh, brand new movement with the wall walks. These are all, these are two very familiar movements. And also last week was uh, more of a, a test of um, test of muscular endurance. You know, like it really it didn't matter. Uh, like if if, uh, if your shoulders gave out on um, the seventh rep on the round of nine wall walks, it didn't matter if you got there at minute four or minute ten. Uh, it was a, that was going to be where the uh, where the shoulders uh, where the shoulders gave out. So it was actually kind of in your advantage to push a little bit harder on the front end to have more time to work on those bigger sets. This is gonna be a little bit uh, a little bit different, and we'll go over that in the strategy here in just a second. Um, next, this is gonna be, this is a lot of bending, okay? If, um, if you're somebody who tends to, you know, lean over a lot to do these, uh, to do these dumbbell snatches, I would really recommend trying to sink your hips, keep your chest up as much as you can, uh, so that you're not going to be bending over quite as much because you still have to bend over to do the uh, to do the burpee and If you don't have a, you know, just excellent squat mobility and you can't land on top of that box sitting in a squat You're gonna bend over when you land on top of the box, too uh, So I really recommend keeping those hips down But still remember with the, these dumbbell snatches both ends of the dumbbell have to touch the floor at the bottom so try to get as much bend in your knees as you can so that you're not just blasting your lower back the entire time. Uh, last thing is just be ready for a grind, especially once you start getting, uh, getting to this set right here, the 30 dumbbell snatches and working your way down. Um, the snatches will go a little quicker than you think, but the 15 burpee box jump overs is really the, uh, really the meat of this workout. That's where you're gonna uh, spend a majority of, uh, of your time even though it's not by the numbers, not as many reps total, but you gotta think about it still, it's 15 burpee box jump overs, but what it really is, is 15 burpees and 15 box jump overs. It's 30 reps, really not 15. So you're gonna be on doing those uh, for a while and you gotta just be ready to kind of get into a groove and just kind of uh, work through that grind as best you can. So strategy wise, we learned this uh, when they first did the workout uh, back in 2017. Switch that dumbbell on the way down. Don't switch it at the floor. Uh, when you switch the dumbbell on the way down, you can tap the floor with the dumbbell, come right back up. You can kind of use, uh, use that stretch reflex. You're not pulling the dumbbell from a dead stop every time. So when you're bringing that dumbbell down, what I like to do is try to keep the dumbbell straight up and down this way so that when I drop it, that top head of the dumbbell hits my hand and I don't have to worry so much about it slipping out or uh, grabbing it uh, wrong or anything like that. Hits the top of my hand, let my elbow down, and then I can go touch the floor and come back up with it. Okay, next, 
uh, paste the burpees. Um, and the best way to do that is you put your hands on the floor. You can, you can kick your feet back if you want to. You can step your feet back if you need to. But when you come up, step one foot up, bring that other foot, step right up to the box, get your jump, stand tall if you want to get a breath, step off to the other side. And as you're stepping off the box, go ahead and pivot and turn so that when your second foot gets on the floor, you're already facing the box and you're ready to go down into the next rep. And you want to practice that, try to get into a rhythm uh, during the warm up where you can complete those burpee box jump overs taking as few steps as possible. Try to make it where you're stepping with the same, uh, the same feet, uh, the same foot every time. Um, actually, I'd say maybe switch it up, step up with the right, on, one, uh, on uh, one rep, step up with the left on the other one so that you're not turning in a circle. But if that doesn't bother you, Nero just not had to think that much about it, step up with the same foot every time, you'll be good to go. Lastly, break up the dumbbell snatches before you uh, try to slow down on the burpees. Like I said, this is uh, the burpees is where you, can, uh, where you can lose the most time. That's where you're gonna be spending a majority of the workout more than likely. So. Once you start getting into these big sets of dumbbell snatches, the 30, the 40, the 50, that might be where you want to take some extra breaks because you can put the dumbbell down, take a couple of breaths, do 10 dumbbell snatches real quick, probably in the amount of time that it would take you to rest and do one burpee box jump over, okay? So you want to think about trying to attack those uh, burpees where you keep the reps moving moving quickly, but, you're, but you take some rest, but on those burpee box jump overs, you treat it like if you were going for a 400 meter run. You run just hard enough to keep moving, but not getting to the point where uh, where your heart rate just spikes so much that you uh, that you start slowing yourself down. So there it is, guys. 20, uh, 21.2. Uh, it's going to be great. Going to be a lot of fun. Uh, good luck tomorrow, and we'll see you later.